Big Poppy in the house. Well, it's been a while since I made a video. So uh, I've been busy on several different projects. Uh, this one right here. I've uh, purchased uh, several more uh, presses and several different types of new equipment uh, for my reloading room. Uh, this one here is all from all my rifles. Um, I've bought uh, three Loadmasters here. Uh, one's for the 223. Uh, the middle one here is for my 7.62x39. My one on the far end here is my 308 762. I'll primarily be using these three presses also for the 300 blackout. And I'll also be using it for the 3030. Um, so. You know, sometimes questions have come up as far as how I build my benches because you can grab and pull these presses and you can't move them. Basically what I do is I use a 2x6 um, wood as far as for the framing. I put a back plate across the back. I'm using uh, screws that are normally used for putting in uh, uh, porches um, and also uh, patios. And they're probably about 6 inches long. It's got a pretty good size head on it. And I put that plate all the way in. Then I build the frame. When I go and uh, put my legs in, uh, I do two of them uh, together, put them together. And in the middle of that, I'm using lag bolts that actually go through and down into the floor. Um, also, behind the pegboard, uh, what I use is I take uh, some uh, pine wood and I rip down three quarter inch uh, strips and I frame out the pegboard. And I do put a couple in the center, so when you push in on it, it's still firm and it'll hold up all your uh, bins. Um, but like I said, you know, all my presses, you can't budge them; they won't, they won't move at all. So I'm pretty pleased with uh, this setup that I've got. And again, behind it, um, you know, you guys know me long enough that um, I don't like to spend a lot of time moving. Uh, you know, it doesn't take very long to take and move your dies from one press to another and interchange them. I like to get off work, come in here and sit down and start loading within five to ten minutes. So, and then in the back, you know, I've still got, I've got the head gauge gap for each one of them. I've got extra powder through dies if I need them, a crimp die. Um, I've got more decapping pins. I also try to keep an extra uh, shell plate holder for each one of them. Um, I started buying uh, extra uh, die holders that you can get from Infabronics, I think it's incorporated. And then um, if I choose to ever go back and do any of them as far as on a single press and that, if I'm only doing a few, I still have extra dice to be able to do that. Um, also, in upcoming uh, videos, um, I did purchase uh, the new powder uh, charges from Lee. Um, I really like those and the other thing we'll be talking about too is I started buying these Mr. Mini Mr. Bullet Feeders so we'll do some of the uh, videos on those tell you how they work how to set them up pretty pleased with that also I'm going to show you how to make a uh, piece for the process to, uh, you know a lot of times when you're reloading some of the rifle calibers uh, the brass has a tendency to fall over and stuff and um, my uh, case tubes are special uh, they've actually got different components inside the guts of them that doesn't allow where every time it comes down the uh, cases are falling over so I'll go over that and some of the changes that's been made to those um, also I think you've seen in some of my videos about making sure that your uh, a case uh, tubes don't start getting real wobbly warped and bending over from keeping the cases in them so we've got some white things here you'll see in some of my other videos keeps them pretty straight um, also want to show you another device that I've made to go on these that when the brass falls straight down uh, there'll be like a, a paddle or a clip that actually moves and rotates towards the case as it travels into your shell plate. So I'm going to show you guys how to make these and they work pretty good. Um, let's see. And then up here at the top, you know, I've got a lot of different uh, 
calibers that I uh, prime and put primers in and stuff. So I've got, I made a rack up here at the top and I've also got Q-tips for when I need to clean my dies and stuff. So it's worked out pretty good on that. Um, so this shop is pretty well all reloading now. I've taken out all my saws and stuff that you guys have seen in here in the past. Got a lot of new stuff that I want to cover and review so just be patient and um, I'll show you what I've been doing and uh, we'll go from there. As always if you like my uh, channel please subscribe. Uh, good shooting and thank you.